Guys, this is a lunch ball, as you know, <clears throat> and I was going to sh show you these just uh, just 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 to give you something to look at. These are things that I've made. Uh, this case, I, I got together in 2011, which was the first year that I tried pecking on rocks, and this was the 2012, and and this is where I'm at in 2013, and it looks like I'm regressing. If you notice, all these are relatively average size points to small points as opposed to a year ago you know things were a little beefy and then even in the first year now there's one about five and a quarter inches long that's probably the longest point I've made out of all of them made out of some hornstone and I've uh been at it about a I don't know about a year and a half probably and all this was made in the first year which I made a bunch of stuff in the first year some of these some pretty unique material because I scrounged everywhere to try to find it creek beds and and just different places and some of the stuff come out of fields that I hunt and I hope the wind ain't gonna hinder us today but as you can see in this one there's several pieces these lighter colored pieces that came out of the creek beds whereas uh, as opposed to the darker stuff that's when I started finding some hornstone on some job sites this come out of the creek the material did and, and like I said all these were made in the first year and I didn't really I had a lot to learn still got a lot to learn but uh, I got what I took off with from watching YouTube videos and uh, just went from there you know busting up rocks and I've noticed you know some of the stuff I made in the first year looks as good as some of the stuff I made just just this year uh, maybe if maybe some of them are a little bit thinner maybe better flaked but it's amazing how much you can acquire you know in, in just a short period of time if you have an interest in doing it there's a Dalton that I made the first year I tried and I was anxious to get to where I could make some of the points that I just simply love and can't find. And, uh, of course, they're not, you know, they're they're crude and they're crooked and bent and twisted and flaking's not correct. But we're getting there, working on it. That's 2011. Of course, here's some of the things in 2012. Uh, this is the first drill I made, and uh, I'd always wanted to make one. And uh, Music Man Hot Rod sent me one that he made, and it was just, it was just great so I set out to make me one and uh, there's my first attempt at the T drill which didn't do too bad hard to keep them together and this is a big point that I made toward the end of 2012 it's around five inches big Adina warm enough today to do this outside it's uh it's supposed to get up like 71 degrees today it's a nice day there's a big hair of hay or not a hair of hay but a hard away of course you know the flaking on a lot of these is probably not at all correct I'm gonna turn this way because I know the wind's blowing right now But anyway, what's the chances of finding something like that in the field somewhere? And of course, that you know, I wouldn't have a chance of finding something like that around here anyway. But there's a capina that I made. Turned out pretty good. Of course, it's not like the one I found, nor the one that Paleo Man made me. And it's going to be worse than that if I don't watch what I'm doing. Elvis. Here's one I'm pretty proud of. It's a big, big sandy type. But the flaking turned out real well on this one. They're pretty thin. There's a lot involved in getting that thing down there thin enough to where, you know, 
I'm satisfied with it and and I've noticed that you just you know at some point you're gonna have to just not in my in my you know crude knowledge of it you get to a point to where you know you're gonna have to rear back and whack of that gun thing that's all I know to tell you uh, in order for that flake to go all the way across that you're gonna have to you're gonna have to do like they told me when I first started riding horses you're gonna have to show them who's boss that's some that's some hard hard material right there it's translucent and I don't know exactly what it is it it's probably a type of hornstone but it's uh I mean it's hard hard stuff to get a point out of it's just real real I don't know what it is I don't even know the terms to describe what it is it's just real real hard material you can't hardly get a flake to travel on it and it looks like it slick right on across there but it's real real hard there's a little dovetail that I made out of some crude material been lucky to get it out of it what I did and some of these, you know, they're not just exceptional. I've got a lot on the way to go. I made me a Dalton. This is out of some uh, Fort Payne chart that I picked up. Didn't, you know, of course, I didn't know what I had when I picked it up. I just thought it might be Napa Boy, and, and it was a piece big as my head, and uh, a lot of it was trash. I come up with that piece, and with that little piece, out of a piece probably it weighed six or eight pounds. <laughs> This is one of my better makes of 2012. It's a harden, knobbed harden. It's some type of brown chert. I'm not sure if it's Fort Payne or not, but it turned out really nice. Got a sweet little bevel to the blade. I'm trying to be conscious of the wind and let you see these pretty good too. I was, I was proud of that one and uh, although uh, you know a lot of these are, are bigger this year than they are the year I'm fixing to show you I was trying to this year you know I've got a lot of material laying around that that I've used or hadn't used up and when you get down to trying to use up some of your material you know you can uh, you can expect to have medium to small points but I've been working on that on that pressure flaking because I like I like the way they look, you know, when they've uh, been pressure flaked well. But anyway, going on over here to some of these, and then I'll be done. I, I made me another drill, and I'm going to try to make this case out of strictly hornstone. And all got issues. It's got a flat spot in it. I just couldn't get it out. But it's got a good tip on it. It would have made a good one. I hope these are showing up because I can't hardly see them out here. It's bright. I made me a, I made me a beaver lake. I like those style of points. I tried to get the flaking to look like, you know, older flaking. Of course, these articulates, you know, is really what defines, you know, that beaver lake. As opposed to this articulate point which was more like a quad with the rounded ears. I like fooling with it. I take it in spells. I mean, there's times, you know, which you, you watch my videos and follow my channel, you know that I, I like hunting. If you've heard me, I like hunting more than I like uh, you know, making them in, in the sense that, you know, it's it's just more fulfillment to me uh, to find one. I mean, it, it's both fulfilling, you know, hobby. Uh, I just prefer one over the other, I suppose. I made this one just the other day. 
it turned out pretty good. I don't know what to call it. Kind of like a Jack's Reef. Uh, it's not the thinnest Jack's Reef I've seen. Uh, but it's not really what you'd consider a big sandy either. And I don't, you know, I don't claim to be able to classify anything that I make or even that I find, hardly. I just like them. I like trying to make them. But I was wanting to shoot this video because I hadn't shot one in a day or two. And I thought you guys might be interested, especially you that nap, you know. There's a little bitty triangular type deal. Too, too small really to bother with putting notches in. Like I mentioned, I'm trying to use up some of my flakes and whatnot just to keep them throwing them away <clears throat> they'll pile up on you you know you that nap very much you know how they do they'll pile up on you if you don't use them or do something with them but anyway that's the case i'm working on for 2013 just try to clean up some of the area where i've been napping at and these are some of the smaller flakes and stuff that comes out of it and i notice some of these are browner than uh, others although they come from the same stone I notice when you get closer to the Gore-Tex, <clears throat> you, you tend to run into some browns. And some of these has got some brown spots in them. I'm hoping that you can see uh, because uh, I can't see nothing. I've gone blind out here. But anyway, that's where I'm at, 2013, 2012, and 2011. And there's not just a great deal of difference. Uh, you know that you could probably see unless I turned them all up edgeways which I don't have time to do but most of the ones that I've you know making lately you know I make it a point that you know you're either gonna get thin or you're gonna break one way or the other uh, because I mean there comes a point that you know you just don't settle I mean it's just a rock I mean that's all that's the way I'm looking at it it's just it, it, before you make it into something it's nothing more than a rock and uh Anyway, there's another turkey tail that I made not too long ago. <clears throat> I had another turkey tail over here in this. I made one the first year. I gifted it to a fella, and I don't miss it at all. Uh, probably go back and make me another one. But I'm glad for him to have it. But anyway, I appreciate you guys watching. I hope you enjoy the show. And if you don't want to watch modern nap stuff, and I know some of you, you know, uh, I mean, it's obvious, you know, from watching some of your videos that some of you could simply care less and probably wish that nobody ever had any interest in making, you know, modern modern tools and whatnot, or replicas or whatnot, and that's your business, you know. Uh, and so if, you know, if you, if you catch this video early enough and you see what I'm showing you, well, then all you have to do is click, uh, click off and go to the next video. Because this is certainly nothing that I'm trying to say that there's going to be anything done other than just for my personal benefit. I don't, I'm not interested in selling any of them, passing them on or anything like that. So anyway, take a look at it. If you like them, well, that's fine. If you don't, that's fine. And we'll try to get out and hunt you some when the weather gets to where, well, when the fields gets to where I can walk them. There's nothing going on right now. Appreciate you watching.